Hi guys and welcome back to the Crochet Tour YouTube channel. In today's video I'm bringing you another new crochet tutorial um, and this time it's another Stardew Valley one actually. Um, I know I've done a couple of Stardew Valley tutorials in the past. I've done a big star drop one and then uh, I did a Crobus one as well so those are on my channel if you're interested. But this time I decided to do a Junimo and I know that they've already been done quite a lot and they're quite simple. Um, so I did two variations of the Junimo. So I did one that's just your standard Junimo with the little antenna bit at the top here. So this is what this one looks like. So I'll show you how to do this one. But then I've also given you the option to do one that's holding a star drop as well. And I obviously based this off my um, original star drop pattern. But I just made it a little bit smaller so that it would sit nicely on the Junimo's head. So I've got this one that I made in the video. And then I've also got this one that I did um, when I was creating the pattern originally. So this is what the ones look like that are holding the star drops. I personally really like these ones. I think these ones are a lot nicer than the basic one. But if you're quite new at crocheting and you're struggling to make the star drop, then it might be easier for you to start off making this one. And then you can work your way up to making this one when you're a bit more intermediate or advanced because there is a bit more um, uh, difficult technique to this one. So um, yeah, so if you're interested in finding out how to make this, then just keep watching the video. There'll be uh, timestamps in the description so um, you don't have to watch the bits that are not relevant to the Junimo that you want to make. Um, obviously you can make this in any colour you want and I quite like the look of the one where it's done in the same green as the leaf of the um, star drop. I think this is quite nice, uh, quite a nice contrast but obviously you can choose any colour. Um, and yeah, as always, the free written pattern will also be available on my blog and that will be linked down below in the description. So without further ado, I'll show you what you'll be needing for this tutorial. For this tutorial, you'll be needing Aran weight yarn um, and you'll be needing it in a couple of different colours. So if you're just making the Junimo without the star drop, then you'll just be needing a main body colour. So I'm choosing yellow for this. And then you'll also want a cheek colour. So I'm going to be using this pink yarn for the cheeks um, and you only need a very small amount of that. Um, and then if you're making the Junimo that has the star drop as well, you'll want a main body colour. So you could choose a different colour or you could use the same green that you're going to be using for the leaves. Um, and then you'll also be needing, obviously, the purple for the star drop. You'll be needing the green for the leaves. Um, and then you'll still need a cheek colour. Again, you could just use the purple that you're using for the star drop or you could use another colour like a pink um, if you want to. So you'll kind of see throughout this tutorial which colour. I end up using um, but I'm going to be using yellow for my main body colour for the first Junimo I make in this tutorial. Then you'll also be needing a couple of black pipe cleaners. This is for the arms and the legs and then if you're making the Junimo without the star drop this is for the little antenna at the top as well. You'll be needing some uh, glue. This is just for gluing down the pipe cleaners so I'm just using some fabric glue here. You'll be needing some stuffing. You'll need a lot more than this, but this is just to demonstrate. You'll need your uh, crochet hook. I'm using four millimeter to go over my Aran weight yarn, but you can size up or down as required. You'll need a yarn needle for sewing everything together. Some safety eyes. I'm using six millimeter safety eyes. A stitch marker. I'm just using an off cut of yarn. And then you'll finally be needing some scissors as well. So that's everything you'll be needing for this tutorial. We're going to start off by making the head slash body and this is made in the same way regardless of which Junimo that you're making, whether you're making the one with or without the star drop. So to start off with, you're just going to use your main uh, body colour and you're going to do six single crochets in a magic circle. So that's the end of round one you should have six single crochets in a magic circle and then for round two you're just going to increase all the way around
and as you can see I've got a little bit of a hole in the middle still here so I'm just going to pull the yarn tail again and as you can see that's closed up so at the end of round two you should have 12 single crochets all the way around I'm going to talk you through the next few rounds as it's just um, a mixture of single crochets and increases so round three is single crochet increase repeat that five more times to get you to 18 single crochets at the end of the round round four two single crochet increase repeat that five more times to get you to 24 single crochets at the end of the round round five three single crochet increase repeat that five more times to get you to 30 single crochets at the end of the round round six four single crochet increase repeat that five more times to get you to 36 single crochets at the end of the round round seven single crochet all the way around Round eight, five single crochet increase. Repeat that five more times to get you to 42 single crochets at the end of the round. Rounds nine to 10 single crochet all the way around. Round 11, six single crochet increase. Repeat that five more times to get you to 48 single crochets at the end of the round. And then rounds 12 to 16 single crochet all the way around. I'll meet you when you're ready to start round 17 as we'll then be needing to do some decreases. So I've just got to the end of round 16 and at this stage you can add your eyes and the cheek details if you want to. You can wait until the very end to do this and you would just need to, instead of using obviously the safety backs of these safety eyes, you would just add some glue to this instead and glue the eyes in and then just embroider the cheek details um, as usual. But I'm just going to do it at this point because it just uh, means that I can use these safety backs for the eyes and it also means that I can tie a knot inside um, the Junimo to keep the cheek de details in place. So this is um, what I'm going to do at the moment. So for the eyes, you're going to want to place them roughly between rounds 12 and 13 and about eight single crochets apart. So I'm just going to work out where I'm going to place my eyes. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thir
I just got to the end of round 17 and I've got 42 single crochets all the way around now. This is what it's looking like. I'm going to talk you through the next few rounds until we need to stuff the Junimo. So round 18, five single crochet decrease. Repeat that five more times to get you down to 36 single crochets at the end of the round. Round 19, four single crochet decrease. Repeat that five more times to get you to 30 single crochets at the end of the round. Round 20, three single crochet decrease. Repeat that five more times to get you to 24 single crochets at the end of the round. Then round 21, two single crochet decrease. Repeat that five more times to get you to 18 single crochets at the end of the round. So I'll meet you at the end of round 21 as we'll then add the stuffing. And then there's just a couple more rounds left to do. I got to the end of round 21 and as you can see I've stuffed firmly at this point so you want to make sure that you do the same and then now we've just got two rounds left to go so round 22 single crochet decrease repeat that five more times to get you down to 12 single crochets at the end of the round then round 23 decrease all the way around to get you down to six um so i'll meet you at the end of round 23 and show you how to close up the hole and then we'll need to add the arms and legs I've just got to the end of round 23, so now we're going to close up the hole. So just cut your yarn, leaving a bit of a tail. And then if you grab your yarn needle. And we just need to feed the tail through the front loop of each of the final six stitches from round 23. So. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, and just pull tight and the hole should close up as you can see here and then you can just weave your yarn tail through to a stitch at the back and just snip that as close as you can just like that. So this is what it should look like when you're finished. So you might just need to squeeze it a little bit and like shape it the way that you want it. Um, and as I mentioned, we're now going to use our pipe cleaners to add arms and legs. So let's do that now. I've just cut out my pieces of black pipe cleaner for the arms and the legs. You'll notice that I have um, obviously three sets of two here. So this is because the arms are going to be different lengths depending on whether you're doing the Junimo holding the star drop or you're just doing a normal Junimo. So if you're doing the Junimo without the star drop, you're going to want two pieces for the legs that are about five centimetres long and then two pieces for the arms that are about seven centimetres long. But then if you're doing the Junimo with star drop, you're going to want to keep the same legs, but you're going to want to make the arms about 10 centimetres long. And this is just because the arms obviously need to be a little bit longer so that they can reach up and hold the star drop. So I'm going to be making the star drop version as my second Junimo in this video. So I'm just going to place these arms to the side for now and I'm going to use the shorter ones at the moment. So once you've got your piece of black pipe cleaner cut, come back and I'll show you how I um, place these into the Junimo. It's really simple. As you can see, I've already added my two uh, legs and one of my arms. So for the legs, I just added a, a dollop of glue onto the uh, legs before I placed them inside. And then I just slightly um, twisted them to the side like this. So they look like that. And then with this arm, I just again did the same thing, except I um, poked it so that the arms coming down was like this. So I'll just do the other arm with you now. So I've got my pipe cleaner piece. I'm just going to add a bit of glue not too much because otherwise um it kind of gathers up and doesn't work too well so just a little bit of glue then i'm going to make sure i line this up so one two three four five six roughly six single crochets away so one two three four five six so probably this one i'm just going to place that in you may need to kind of wiggle it around a bit to get it going in properly And then once it's in, you're just going to want to sort of twist it a little bit like that so that the arms are facing down like that. If that's how you want them, obviously you can position them however you like, but that's what my one looks like. So 
yeah that's all you have to do so if you do that for both of the arms and the legs um then if you're doing the junimo without the star drop the next thing that we're going to do is make the little antenna bit at the top so we need to do a bit more crochet for that and we'll need a bit more pipe cleaner as well so for the antenna and again you don't need to do this if you're doing the junimo with the star drop you're going to use your main body color and you're going to do four single crochets in a magic circle And then for round two, you're just going to single crochet all the way around. And that is it so that's the piece you're just going to cut your yarn leaving a little bit of a tail and then we're going to close up the hole in the same way that we normally would and also you can snip this other tail at this point if you want i'm just going to do that so i'm just going to weave my tail through the front loop of each of the four single crochets one, two, three, four, and then I'm just going to weave the tail through that hole and out through the top here and then I'll snip that. So now we just need to get our final piece of pipe cleaner and then we can attach this piece to the pipe cleaner and then attach the pipe cleaner to the body. So I just cut another piece of pipe cleaner the same length as one of the legs, so five centimetres. I just poked it through um, the bottom of the little antenna piece we made and I added a dab of glue before I did that so that's now attached and then all we need to do is we're just going to need to place this on the Junimo so before I add glue I am just going to work out where I'm going to position that so I'm not committed if I don't like the positioning so I'm just going to see if I like that I think that looks okay I might try going a little bit further back and see if that looks better Actually, yeah, I think it looks better in that further back stitch. So I'm going to place it roughly at round two. Um, well, between rounds one and two, I suppose. So I'm just going to get my glue now. Add some glue onto this and then place it in. just like that so that is the completed junimo if you're not making the star drop so i'll show you another um better view of this and then if you are making the star drop keep watching i'll show you how to do that now this is what my finished Junimo looks like, just the normal one. Um, I changed the arm position just to show you that you can obviously adjust that um, and move it into different positions because um, these are obviously pipe cleaners so you can just keep changing that around as you like. Um, but yeah, this is what the finished normal one looks like but I'm now going to show you how to make a little star drop if you want to do that uh, as well. I've just made a different colour Junimo and I've added in the longer arms this time and just put the legs on the same as I did with the um, yellow Junimo. So once you're, you've got to this stage, um, let's make the star drop. For the star drop we need our purple yarn and we're going to start off by doing four single crochets in a magic circle. So that's the end of round one then for round two you're going to do single crochet increase single crochet increase to get you up to six single crochets at the end of the round 
And just to explain what we're doing here, we're making the five points of the star first and then we're going to join them all together later on. Okay, so that's the end of round two and I've got my six single crochets all the way around. I'm just going to talk you through the remaining rounds for the point because it's um, just a mixture of single crochets and increases. So round three, single crochet increase. Repeat that two more times to get you up to nine single crochets at the end of the round. Round four, single crochet all the way around. Round five, two single crochet increase. Repeat that two more times to get you to 12 single crochets at the end of the round. Round six, single crochet all the way around. So I'll meet you at the end of round six. I just got to the end of round six, so that's all you need to do for the point. So you can just cut your yarn now, leaving a very small tail, just so that we can secure that in place later on. Um, so that's the first point. You're going to want to make four more of these because you need five in total. But on the fifth one, make sure that you don't cut your yarn, leave your yarn on the hook, because we're then going to join all the points together. So come back here when you've got five points. As you can see, I've got my five points now. So I've got these four here and then I've got the one that's still on my hook. And we're now gonna start round one of joining everything together. So to start off with, just do uh, six single crochets in the point that's currently on your hook. And I am just gonna mark the first stitch just to remind myself where the round started. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Then grab any one of your other points, doesn't matter which one, and then you're gonna work six single crochets in this as well. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work my first single crochet in the last um, single crochet of uh, the final round of the point, and then I'm just gonna work the remaining five across like this, and that's gonna allow me to crochet over this tail to secure it in place. So I'm just gonna go. The first one's always a little bit tricky, you might need to hold onto the tail to keep it in place. So this is one, like that, and then I'm gonna do five more. two, three, four, five, oh yeah I need to do one more, sorry I was counting that, I was thinking that doesn't make sense, so six in total, yep so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve now. And then we're just going to keep doing the same thing until we've done six single crochets into each of the points. So I'm going to just show you one more on camera and then I'm going to do the rest off camera. So. Trying to get the first single crochet of each point as uh, tight as I can really to prevent gaps. So this is one, and then two, three, four, five, six. So I'm just going to join in the other two points off camera and then I'll show you when I've done that. So I've done six single crochets in each point now and they're all joined together like this. So what we're going to do to finish round one, you're actually going to finish off by doing one single crochet in that first single crochet of the round. So that marked stitch if you marked yours. So I'm just going to remove the stitch marker and go in here and do a single crochet. So actually round two is going to start in the next single crochet. So after each round, you're just going to move your starting stitch forward by um, one single crochet. And that's going to ensure that the decreases are positioned correctly, which you'll kind of see when we start round two now. So for round two, it's going to be four single crochet decrease. And we're going to repeat that four more times to get us down to 25 single crochets. 
at the end of the round so I'll show you a couple of um, decreases now so we're going to start in the next stitch so this is one and I'm going to mark that two three four and then we're going to do a decrease five So that's the first decrease and just to show you if we hadn't have moved our stitch marker one single crochet forward we would have been doing the decrease in these two stitches and that wouldn't look very good um, when we finished the round so that's the reason why we're moving it forwards just to get that decrease right in the corner there um, so yeah that's what that looks like so I'm going to do another one with you now so one two three four and then a decrease like that so I'm just going to repeat that until I get back to where I started so I got back to the marked stitch I've got my 25 single crochets all the way around now um, and as I mentioned we're going to again move our stitch marker one forward so I'm going to do one final single crochet to finish off round two then round three is going to start in the next single crochet. So you may have already guessed it, but for round three, we're going to do three single crochet decrease and repeat that four more times to get us down to 20 single crochets at the end of the round. So I'll just show you the first, um, the first three single crochets and the decrease to start off with. So one, and I'm going to mark this stitch. one two three decrease and i'll just show you once more so one two three decrease so again just do that pattern all the way around and i'll meet you when you've done that so I finished round three and I've got my 20 single crochets all the way around. This is actually the final round on this side. So um, I'm just going to slip stitch into the next stitch. And then I'm going to cut my yarn and I do want to leave a bit of a tail because uh, you might need this later for sewing up the gaps between the star points. And you'll see what I mean later on. So I'll just leave a little bit of a tail here. Um, and I'm just going to pull that yarn through like this. So that's this side finished. So now we need to reattach our yarn onto the other side and basically do exactly what we just did um, again on the other side. So I'm turning my star over. And you're going to want to pick a, a stitch to reattach your yarn into. Just make sure that it's any of the rightmost stitches of any of the points. So don't pick like this one in the middle for example make sure that it's the one furthest to the right of one of the points so I think I'm just going to pick this one and if you want to double check that you're reattaching in the right stitch just make sure that there's six um so including the one that you're going into you can go one two three four five six so that's definitely the right one And so for the first round, we're just going to single crochet all the way around. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then you're going to need to go into the next point um, when you've done the six. So seven eight nine 
and so on so you're just going to do 30 single crochets and again joining all the points together on this side don't worry that you're getting holes between the points uh, you're going to need to sew that up later and there's no way to really avoid this that I found so um, don't worry about that we'll deal with it later so anyway I'll meet you when you've done 30 single crochets so six into each of the points so I've got my 30 single crochets now. I added a stitch marker to the first single crochet of the round just so it's easier for you to see um, which stitch was the first one. But as we did before, we're going to just single crochet into that first stitch and that will complete round one. So round two should start in the next stitch. So that is the end of round one. So I'm not going to show you all of this again because I've already shown you on the other side. But for round two, you're going to do four single crochet decrease and repeat that four more times to get you down to 25 single crochets at the end of the round. When you've done that, you're going to do one final single crochet to finish the round. And then for round three, you're going to do three single crochet decrease and you're going to repeat that four more times to get you down to 20 single crochets at the end of the round. And I'll meet you at that point and then we're going to need to uh, cut our yarn, leaving quite a lot long tail for sewing so I got to the end of the third round and this is what it's looking like so now we just need to cut our yarn again leave quite a long tail I would leave more than you think you probably need um, just to be on the safe side and then what we're going to need to do is we're going to be whip stitching um, both of the round threes of either side together. Um, and as we whip stitch, we're going to be stuffing the points at the same time. I mean, you can add stuffing um, first if you wanted to, but it will probably uh, get in the way and be really annoying. So I'm just going to stuff each point as and when I kind of sew up the stitches near it. So I'll show you that now. So if you grab your yarn needle, let's do that together now I'm going to start whip stitching now I'm going to try my best to line up the two sides as best I can but it's not the end of the world it doesn't have to be perfect so I'm just going in through one of the stitches on the other side now just going to pull that and then I'm going to come back through to this side I'm going to go into the next single crochet and then I'm going to go in through this single crochet on the other side and pull then I'm going to come back into this one and then the next one on the other side pull I'm just going to keep doing that all the way around but I am going to stop to stuff the first point in a second probably going to do one more and then I'm going to add some stuffing okay so I'm going to stuff this first point so I'm just going to grab some stuffing and I'm just going to go in like this and sort of push that into the point just like that and as and when I do each kind of group of about five or six um, stitches sewing them together I'm then going to stuff each of the points as I go around so I'm just going to finish whip stitching all the way around and stuffing um, and I'll show you when I finish that I finished whip stitching all the way around and this is what it's looking like now so if you still got some tail left you can use this um, otherwise use your tail that you previously left and what we're going to do is we're just going to close up the hole between uh, each of the points so if you just make sure that you pull your yarn out near um, one of those holes then all you're going to need to do is just so that closed so you probably only need to do about three stitches so one two and then i'll just do a third one next to it three so that closes up the gap and i'm just going to do that 
in each of these gaps all the way around and I'll meet you when I've done that. I finished sewing up the gaps now so there's no gaps between the points. This is what it looks like. You might want to again kind of play around with the positioning and work out which way you think looks best for the star drop to um, sit. I think this is probably um, the neatest way around. I know it's still a little bit wonky um, but it's really kind of difficult to get this to look perfectly um, symmetrical and stuff so I think this will do. Um, I wouldn't cut your yarn tails so leave them because uh, we're going to be needing these to sew these to sew the star drop sorry to the top of the junimo just to keep it in place because uh, the pipe cleaners are probably not strong enough to um, secure this uh, on top of the junimo so yeah so the next thing we're going to do is make the little leaves to go at the top of the star drop and then once we finish that we can then just sew this to the top of the junimo uh, and then we'll be done I've just gone ahead and made one of the leaves so this is what it's going to look like uh, you're obviously going to need two of these so let's do the second one together so if you grab your green yarn we're going to be crocheting round a foundation chain so you want to start off by chaining 11 Then what we're going to do is we're going to work from the second chain from hook and we're going to work along the chain. You can work into these front loops if you want, but I um, just prefer to work into the back loops. So that's what I'm going to do. So we're going to start off by doing two slip stitches. One. Oops. Two. Then we're going to do two single crochets one two then we're going to do two half double crochets one two and then we're going to do two double crochets one Then we're going to do a half double crochet. And then we're going to do a slip stitch. And then we're going to work um, in the other side of the foundation chain and we're going to do the same pattern but reversed. So slip stitch, half double crochet. two double crochets two half double crochets two single crochets and two slip stitches and then just cut your yarn leaving a tail for sewing and you can snip this tail if you've crocheted over it as well so come back when you've got two leaves and I'll show you how to sew these to the star drop I've already sewn down one of the leaves so I'm going to do the other one with you now so you're just going to position it at the top here and just sew down a few stitches so this is one I'm going to do this one I'm just whip stitching here and then a third whip stitch then I'll just see how that looks 
So what I'm going to want to do actually on this one, and I've just noticed that the tail is sticking out a little bit here. I'm just going to cut that. So what I'm going to want to do is I just want to um, do a few stitches to kind of bring the two leaves together a bit better. So I'm just going to do that now. Just do one more. Okay, and I think I'm happy with that. So I'm just going to weave my yarn tail through to the back and I'll just snip that. Okay, so now I've got my leaf on the top of the star drop. So now we just need to position it on top of the Junimo, sew it down, push the arms into the star drop, and then we're finished. So you're going to place the star drop on top of your Junimo like this, and then you're going to sew it down a little bit just to keep it in place. So I've already made it so my yarn tail is coming out at this point here, and I'm just going to be whip stitching along the star drop to sew it down. So I'll show you the start of that. So just like that, and I'm going to do that um, all the way until I reach the other point so I'll meet you when I get to that point. So I finished sewing across the star drop as you can see so this is what it looks like on top of the head. What I'm going to do at this point you can add some glue if you want to the end of the arm I'm actually not going to bother with glue and I'm just going to poke the arms into the holes kind of between the two points so I'm just trying to just trying to find the actual hole on this side. There we go. Just like that. So now, as you can see, the arms are carrying the star drop. And you can just leave it like this if you want, but what I might do for extra security is just sew along the back of the star drop as well. So just do uh, another kind of um, row, I guess, of sew whip stitching the star drop across to the top of the Junimo head. So I'm just gonna do that till the end and then I'll meet you when I've done that and show you what it looks like. I finished sewing along the back now, so I'm just going to weave my yarn tail through to one of the other stitches at the back like this so that I can snip it and I'm going to do the same with this tail I didn't actually end up needing this one because I cut my um, first one so long but um, it's always good to have um, options in case you do need a bit more tail to work with so I'm just going to push that one through to the back as well then I'm going to cut these and then we're finished so I'm going to show you a better view of the Junimo now. I've just taken you outside to give you a better view of what the finished Junimo looks like holding the star drop. So yeah, that's the finished product. I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.